five suspects arrested for attacking trucks on major routes will appear in court this morning. All of them were arrested in Mbumalanga. The alleged arsonists will appear at the MLO Magistrates Court. And this is where we find ENCA's senior reporter Avi Wemdila uh, to give us the very latest in terms of what is expected this morning. Avi, we're a very warm good morning to you, uh, colleague. It's another day, another uh, court appearance, but this time around out in MLO. And this has to do with those suspects alleged to be implicated in the truck attacks we've seen recently. Good morning, Tumelo. We are just outside Court B here at the Amelo Magistrate Court, where we're expecting those five uh, suspects, of course, uh, to appear here in just over an hour at around 10.30. We are told that all five suspects were arrested in Mpumalanga, two of those arrests happening over the weekend, and the last one being that of a 28-year-old gentleman uh, who was found with an illegal firearm. And now we do understand, of course, the accused of uh, torching the at least 21 trucks that have been torched uh, in the month of July. And of course, all five suspects uh, being apprehended and arrested uh, here in Mpumalanga. There was a bit of confusion, in fact, over the weekend on the fifth suspect, uh, but that's been cleared out. Uh, I had a conversation now with uh, Aflena Mate, the national spokesperson of the South African Police Service, who seems to suggest that that suspect that was arrested uh, while being questioned in Limpopo was then later arrested. So there are no six suspects, or there's no one that was arrested in Limpopo. That person has since been uh, released after questioning, and all five suspects, in fact, being arrested here. In fact, it's one of those conversations that I had with Police Minister Peggy Taylor just on Saturday morning, who suggests that the motive behind this is economic sabotage. It's not related to the 2021 July unrest, uh, and nor is it related to any uh, of those trucking issues where the South African truck drivers don't want uh, foreign nationals uh, to be part of the trucking industry. But it's just pure, uh, you know, economic sabotage. We do understand tender related, uh, the police minister seemed to suggest. So they'll be appearing here. And we do know now they've been charged with uh, malicious damage to property. And we'll hear the exact charges then uh, when they appear here. The one thing that they all have in common, we were told by the National Police Commissioner, uh, Fani Masimula, is that most of them are truck drivers. He even went on to say that it'll be difficult to protect uh, truck drivers from the very truck drivers that are actually the ones accused of torching these trucks. So we're having that first appearance here at Court B at the MLO Magistrate Court, possibly going to be a short one, uh, most likely going to be postponed for a formal bail application. Interesting twist they mentioning that uh, the suspects are truck drivers themselves, but are law enforcement ruling out a possibility of more arrests, Avi Wynn? No, that's not a full cause. In fact, we've been promised by both the police minister, Peggy Taylor, as well as General Fani Masimula, that we can expect uh, more arrests. In fact, they say that uh, they have even the big bosses behind the scenes. They're on their radar, and soon enough, we can expect more arrests, more people to be added to the dock, also facing those similar charges of malicious damage to property. But one thing that the police minister did emphasize that he doesn't want those charges just to end at that particular charge of malicious damage to property because we're talking here of arson, we're talking here of economic sabotage, we're talking here of even possible uh, attempted murder. So he suggests that those charges need to be delved into properly and not only accused of just damaging the property itself, but be accused to the full extent of the economic sabotage that we've been seeing, uh, of course, in these torching of the at least 21 trucks with these five different incidences that have been happening in the month of July. Well, I suppose, colleague, the call for crime intelligence uh, to, of course, lead to the masterminds behind these attacks has been growing so much. We'll leave it there for now. Avi Wimtila will be sure to catch up with you as soon as court proceedings also start in MLO. Just the very latest on those five suspects arrested so far implicated in charges that include arson as well as malicious damage to property. This with regards to those truck attacks that we've seen recently in KwaZulu, Natal, in Pumalanga, in Limpopo. Of course, law enforcement cracking down on those alleged to be responsible.